Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Draft Day Sports College Basketball, and it's week 41 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. I head into the 2031-2032 season. And we're into the offseason at the very beginning of recruiting. But before we jump into the recruiting, quick look at my staff hirings for this season. So Malone Morrissey, if you remember from last episode, was one of my coaches. He was my first assistant a year ago. But he was looking to potentially gain a head coach job. He did not get offered a job. And among those who were available for me, he had the highest reputation and was the best available coach uh, due to a nice high player development rating of 67. He's not very good as a coach itself, and he's not really developing much. Uh, but I was able to get him re-signed uh, for relatively cheap, 34000 I think that was less than what he was making a year ago. Uh, and meanwhile, Anthony Smith was down to the final year of his contract. Uh, it cost me about 10000 more, but I did get him re-signed for an additional year on his contract. So uh, I have all my coaches th back for next season. Now, on to recruiting. Uh, so uh, actually, let's take a quick look at the roster. Uh, so my seniors this year, those who I'm going to be losing, Greg Burton, uh, my backup point guard, at least from last season, uh, will graduate this year. Paul Floyd is going to graduate this year, so that is one starter who's going to be out. And I only have one other uh, power forward on scholarship. And then Travis Butler, uh, the third string center, is going to uh, graduate this year. And likewise, Scott Martin, uh, the fourth string center uh, and walk-on, uh, along with Llewellyn Curtis, my other walk-on, are both uh, going to be graduating. So I'll have new walk-ons coming on. But in terms of scholarships, uh, only one starter is going to be leaving at the end of this year, and that is Paul Floyd. Uh, and he's possibly the weakest uh, of the starters. So I'm going to be looking even stronger a year from now and with no one graduating from last year and everyone back the team should develop and be even better as we move into conference m this year now to the recruiting uh, this is the first week of recruiting but i took the time because it does take quite some time uh, to go through the list of everyone and I looked specifically at my West region, as I've done the last couple of seasons, and I took the top recruits across the board for the top 200, and then took the positions I need, specifically point guard and power forward, and then a little bit center, uh, up to 355. Uh, so that is the list that I'm going to start working with. I have not begun working with those recruits yet, but these are the best recruits in the West region, uh, top 200 overall, and then those top point guards, power forwards, and centers, which are the main positions I actually need uh, to fill. But, for example, if Evans, a small forward, the 19th ranked recruit, at least at this point, wanted to come to my school, I'm not going to turn down somebody who's 25 points a game. All right, so this is my watch list. I'm going to start with, uh, and I did not spend any money as I was not able to get an upgrade on my budget, so I have just 37 to spend, 37,000 to spend this entire season while recruiting those three positions. Uh, I have saved my money, and we'll go down the list and get the first 10 plus the first three Oregon recruits on scouting live. Actually, there is no scouting live, so just watching film on the top 10 guys. Okay, so that's the easy part there. Now it's on to the call list where I 
get to figure out the pitch categories. I'll be doing a lot of that work myself. And none of them are favored for me, so I'm going to have to always start with give me five minutes of your time trying to break through. But as I'm a good recruiter, eventually I'll get all or most of these guys to give me their time. But this is that first introduction, so it's going to be difficult. Hopefully I can get one. There's one. So Matt Smith, first one, power forward, uh, high school senior, number 28 recruit land in uh Number 28 recruit in the nation and ninth best power forward. We'll start with parent info. And right away, he's willing to talk to us, so that's good. That's all the time we have. So he cares about playing time. He cares about school prestige. Probably not a player that's going to... Uh, really navigate towards our school, low on academics. Definitely not the things that uh, are my strengths. You have new mail. We head to Independence Day. Yeah, look at all, all those A's at the top of the list. Yeah, I'm not participating in any, any camps uh, to save that budget, nor did I have any sort of recruiting packages. So this is all going to be work between my staff and I from this point on. Uh, GPA is another thing to, to keep a close eye on. And let's see. These guys down here at the bottom are likely going to get cut from this list uh, almost right away, especially when I got 341. But we're not there yet. Let's get the next 10. There is live scouting, so we'll start with that. Let's go with the Oregon guys. Do I only have... Wow, only a couple guys from the home state, huh? The Washington ones aren't too bad, but I don't know if I want to spend six fifty. All right, plus ten here. Okay, still more than 10 left, so it's going to take at least one more week to get a first look at everyone. All right, number one guy on the list, and we got through to him in just the second time we ever picked up the phone and gave him a call. School prestige matters a lot to him. Of course, number 14 recruit in the nation, number one regionally. Yeah, yeah, he wants to go to a big-time school, and we are not that yet, so that one's probably going to be off our list almost immediately. All right, well, great progress. In just two weeks, I've got four of the top six guys with at least some interest and they are all uh, A-rated good scoring threats and let's see defense Evans would be perfect so hopefully we can get somewhere with that guy I'd love to see a guy who can score and defend you have new mail all right, so we're on to the third week of recruiting, and no, summer camp. You have new mail. Ah, we're going to get you have new recruiting. Mail. There we go. There's that expansion. All right, uh, I'm on the call list. We'll go ahead and start there.
Okay, he does care about location and playing time. All right, location also matters to Wormley. Might have a chance on recruiting him. It's definitely the ones that care about the academics and location uh, that I tend to do the best with. And that was all of our time for that week. a Washington guy. I guess 650 is kind of the same cost. Well, no, because there's 850. That's a 650. And a 650. Okay. Alright, now one more week and we'll be able to get at least our first look at attributes on everyone. It does change over the course of the season, but it gives me a pretty general idea. And if somebody is an F on defense, they are off my list. You have new mail. You have new mail. All right. Let's get the rest of that watch list. That'll be everyone. I'm going to take a second look at the top three guys. And on to the call list. Five of the six at the top are all now at least hearing me out. Oh, no reason to call him. Okay, we've got everything on Wormley. Got everything on him now. He cares about location. Okay. And we got our first little piece of information there. You have new mail. All right, and we see a few guys down the list, quite a few down the list, uh, through the work of my staff, uh, have some interest now. And I now have that first look at everyone. So let's go ahead and, yeah, those are all summer camps. Let's get back to that recruiting. And let's start comparing. There's my guy. Evans, at least on first glance, is the one I want. And these two, Sawyer and Penny, are coming off the list. I will not have someone incapable of playing defense. Okay, all these Ds are probably going to be gone, but if they move up to Cs on second look, uh, it would be okay. However... If they are a shooting guard or a small forward, which I don't need as much, they're going to be gone. That's starting with Dillard down. So shooting guard or small forwards. So Milford's going to be gone. And 
the shooting guards, let's see, these two are both in the top 50. They're both Bs. Both scored really well, handled the ball well. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them another chance, being that they're top 50 and really good offensively, both of them. Her calls in. Shear's already done. Evans. That's the one I'd love to get through to, Steve Evans. All right, we got everything on Leonard. And now on to a new section of the list. Guys that I haven't already contacted. And right away, our second guy on the extension list works. Eh, academics, so so. Okay, now back to the watch list. And I got our top three guys. So we'll watch film on the next ones. It is an evaluation period. And we'll go watch our Oregon guy too. And I guess we'll leave off with him. Eisenhower, save the money on the others. You have new man. You have new man. Okay, and there's that next recruiting period. So we made it as far as Ireland. We've traveled far. No, wait. Wrong Ireland. Call list. Okay, now I've got Shear already. So I'll start with Evans. And he doesn't like me. That's only the second time we called Latimer, so I'm not too worried about him. He hasn't answered yet. Okay, that's pretty good. Location definitely favors us. He is from Washington. I don't see how anyone would want to be from Manson, Washington. There is a certain Charles that you do not want to be ever associated with. There we go. Academics, very, very high priority. Uh, Greg Fitz could be a guy for us. Number 51. Uh, overall seen as a B. Great rebounder. Oh. And okay defense for a center. And shot blocking is there. He can't shoot free throws for the life of him, but how many centers can? Wait, I might be offering a scholarship to this guy quite soon. Going after this one. But we've still got more, more to unveil with him. But doesn't care much about school prestige. Does care a lot about academics. That's my school. We don't have the prestige yet. We're not there. We're way too low of a conference. Just climbing our way through. That's big though. All right. Uh, so 
Oh, did I have any more call time left? No, 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 that was all of it. Yeah, what about my watch list? I think I already did it. Yes, I did. So, more recruiting to be done. All right, into August. Still no change to the rankings, though. I think that's going to be coming very... Oh, there has been a change to the rankings. My guys at the top are still the same. But the bottom has changed drastically. Look how low these th three especially. Uh, these guys were all top 350 a little bit ago. These guys are just at the top because, well, apparently the top is fairly well solidified. Uh... Yeah, Latimer I've been trying to call. So these guys are all the top below this point. I might need to start here. I know I've seen those all twice. These guys are now going to be all mixed below. So... So we got as far as Kamuna. Oh, that should be easy enough to remember. Yeah, Steve, and Ev Steve Evans looks like uh, he will not be coming to us if it's this much just to get him to pick up the phone and talk to us. Oof, no luck with that at all today. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Bradley. Okay, so we got as far as Kamuna. All right, straight into the calls. Finally, Latimer got through to him. Took about six weeks, I think. It's already August, so we're uh, moving pretty quick here. All right, doing good on budget. Of course, that's going to change pretty quickly once we get into the visits and everything that that money adds up quite fast so we left off with Kamuna so we're on Chambliss Holbrook Jones Hankin Cyrus Smith Bryant Noble Dillard and Sanders okay a little over 10 guys left So Dillard was the last, and right into the recruiting. And we left off with Dillard. Where is he? There we go. Okay, Sanders. It's his ranking dropped to 486, but that is some one of the players that I liked. Compare him to others. Just three guys left here, Barnes, Johnson, and Fields. So we left off with Smith, Agent Smith. 
Uh, I'm going to have to double check that GPA on some of these guys too after I get through this uh, one more week, but we've got our call list to go through first. Evans, okay, finally gave us a shot. We were persistent. And we got it all in one shot. Coach discipline, playing time location, conference prestige, and school prestige are pretty high, so that's, that's going to hurt our chances a lot. So we're all the way down to Trey Burrow now on unlocking. There you go. And we're out of time, so Burrow's the next guy. And no change in the rankings this week, which is good. So we'll get to those last three guys here in a moment. Let's go ahead and make our calls. Burrow is where I left off. Just one thing. Location. Oh, and he hung up on me. Thanks a lot. Looks like my coaching staff got partway through that one. And he's already interested. So Eisenhower, and we're out of time there. Back to the watch list. And we've got these last three to watch film on. I had skipped the top four, so let's go ahead and get a new ev evaluation of them. It's all the A's. And we'll do a reevaluation before the next week's recruiting gets underway. And it's September. Looks like there's new ranks again because I had somebody that was around 1200. All right, uh, so defense. Still a bunch of D's, quite a few of them. A couple of these guys are C's. Uh, both these shooting guards, though, Ballinger dropped in his rank quite a bit. All of his defense stuff oh, is bad. And his GPA is bad, so Ballinger's out. Not going to go after him. And he's got those kind of struggles. Let's look at the GPA for a moment. These bottom four guys are probably not going to qualify. Uh, let's see. I have a shooting guard. Don't need a shooting guard. So we're going to get him out of there without looking too closely at his qualities. Yeah, you're ranked 311. None of them are A's. None of them are great scorers. Dillard on down. I might just take all of them off the list. And then I'm not going to have to worry about whether they qualify or not. Let's see. Where's your GPA? There it is, 2.4. Okay, yeah. These are... Kept my order. Good. So all of them are gone. That's going to shorten our list down a bit. OK, 
Okay, so our lowest guy left is Fields with a 2.6. He's down to 9.15 and a C. I might as well get rid of him as well. So Fields is out. Now with a 2.7 GPA or above for everyone, they should, and they're both Bs. They're both shooting guards. Do I need this one? Let's see. Scoring. Oh, and this is one of my strugglers on D in Hamilton that I was just keeping around. Maybe get rid of these two more players. Okay, Hamilton and Wardle are gone too. Now, that thinned our list out quite a bit. Now, looking at defense, I'm down to just four players. This one's a C. He does not score. He does not defend. And his rank is quite low. So, Sanders, you're gone as well. Down to just three guys that do not defend well. You don't rebound at all. You're a point guard at least, though. All right. I think that's enough trimming of the list for now. I still have to have players to choose from. Down to only one. Oh, and he's a small forward. Hankins. Uh, so you're gone too, Hankins. There's no point keeping you around when you're a position that I do not need and your ranking has dropped significantly. There we go. All right, back to the calls. Uh, Evans is fully unlocked now. These guys are all unlocked. Let's say down to, yeah, Anderson. Okay. I think that was a new one that we hadn't called before. Oh, fits, location, academics. I'm going to have to compare him to the other centers, but that might be my first scholarship offer. Not that he's a great player. But he had a couple things about him that I really liked. Oh, no, not bribes. For one, I don't have the budget for bribes. Okay, it's still a quiet period, so there's no visits yet. And do I want to watch? I watched these guys on the top, so why don't we go from about, well, the top seven. I had three at the bottom of the list, so we'll start with Anderson. Uh, I haven't been watching, but I, I'm not sure I've seen one player where I've cracked their top 10 just yet. Uh, so this could be difficult going after these three guys this season. Uh, so we're down to Bradley now, and it looks like there's about 10 left. So I might be able to get the rest in this next week. So I'm down to under 30 on my recruiting list. Only need three. Contact period. Okay, this is the big time. Uh, and I left off with Bradley. Ha, oh, one player. One player left. Ireland is the only one. And I'm not getting the scouting report on this week, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I should start with the calls, and then we'll go back and decide 
where to put those visits in and why don't I start from the top just to be sure I've got everything about these guys. Yikes, Latimer doesn't like anything. <laughs> How are you going to recruit this guy? How would anybody recruit that guy? Excellent. Got all the way through uh, Brian White and Holbrook. We're part way through already. All right. So I've got something to work with now, and it's pretty much from Holbrook on up. I don't think I have. I've got Bradley. Other than Bradley, it's Holbrook up. So, Kamuna, if I wanted. Yeah, bottom of the list. Don't have anything yet. Okay, so I need to start looking at these top players from Holbrook up. Holbrook's a C and not a good defender. So I'm looking from white up. And... So white up. Uh, why don't I go by position? We'll start with the most important to fill, the one where I'm losing a starter and only have two players on roster. We'll look at the power forwards. Now those top guys, it looks like I just have two choices, Shear and Smith. They are both A's, which means I might try to go after both of them this week. I, I do get to visit four recruits and host three, so I might host one and visit two power forwards. Or just double up on power forward because I need it more than anything else. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So uh, I think I'm going to go after Shear and Smith both and hope that one of them sees a boost. So that means I'm gonna host Shear and School Prestige is not good. Location will target location and visit him and Number 13, I'll offer a scholarship for now. We'll see how that goes. If we jump up his list and he likes to get good feedback, awesome. If not, he's off the list. So Smith also, he likes a lot of things. So he's pretty approachable. He's from California. So location would be good. Playing time would be good. And it is power forward. So... Playing time or location. Let's go with location. It's California. Yeah, and I've really got to target these two guys amongst all others. So give them both an offer. Now, all in two. Uh, the other one I need to fill most of all is the point guard spot. So we're looking at two top guys here. One of them is an A, and he's good in defense and scoring. So Wormley, location. Even though it's New Mexico, that's our only. So we'll visit and host. Declined. OK. And we'll give an offer to him. We'll see what kind of feedback we can get. The other one is center. So 
So Leonard, I like Fitz. Uh, but how does he compare to Leonard? Leonard is better blocking and stealing. But Fitz, Fitz is pretty good. Uh, what do you care about? Leonard of California. You do care about school prestige and facilities a bit, and neither one of those are good, but you do care about location most of all. I could give him one shot. If he doesn't like it, then we move on to Fitz, and that's early. I don't have another scholarship to offer right now, but uh, that was location, and we'll host him. Fitz is next. Back to viewing everyone, and see what we get. You have new mail. You have new mail. It's a big week for us. No one signed instantly, but that's not a surprise. I wasn't top ten on any of their lists. I can already see Wormley went well. Sheer did not. And let's see. Visits starts well here. Let's start with the. Player of the Year awards the favorite this year's out of Florida State with Notre Dame and Arizona making up the other in the top three favorites. Okay, Shear didn't think the visit was worthwhile, and the home visit can't see himself playing for us. No wonder. So Shear is gone. Uh, Smith didn't think the visit was worthwhile and can't see himself. So we're going to lose Shear and Smith. Leonard didn't like the visit either. Wow. But warmly impressed. So Leonard, Smith, and Shear. Leonard, Smith, and Shear. So switch to the call list here. Leonard, Smith, and Shear all gone. Uh, so revoke, take them off the list. There's Smith. Okay. And Leonard. All right, that shortens the list down. Uh, Wormley, things went well there. So Wormley uh, didn't have the visit, but he declined. Have to see. This is another contact period. It looks like I will be doing scheduling this week. And I'm down to just a few players in that A ranking. Two of them small forwards. I could target them real quick and then just eliminate them if they don't join us. Uh, let's see. Size McDonald could play power forward. Six eight, two hundred and three pounds. I think I'll target McDonald this week as a potential power forward candidate. I mean, Louis, I still have nothing on him. I haven't unlocked him yet, so uh, I'll do that. So there's two guys that I'm going to target: Wormley and McDonald. Uh, let's do our calls first, though. So, Wormley, we moved up to 8th on his list. And I already know I'm going to focus on him. He liked the location pitch, so we're going to stick with that. And we'll try to host him again. No. I might not ever get a him on that. Okay, and McDonald, I know I'm going to target him. Uh, location is big. His prestige push might put him out of our reach, so this is actually good to get him out of the way. Uh, location. Okay, we'll try to host him. That worked. And we'll give him an offer. Uh, back on Wormley, he does have an offer. Okay.
All right, now I'm worried about calls. So before we figure out who the other couple guys here, do our calls first. Fitz. Fitz is next on my list. So Fitz Academics host. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, that took care of that. I still have one more. Uh, I think it's a point guard I need to go after for the last visit. I'll look at that after I finish my calls. list for now and then no Wormley's point guard McDonald's a potential power forward and Fitz is a center so it's actually the actual power forward um, but Louis no interest generated yet Eisenhower's the next one so do I want to go after Eisenhower or take my shot at Evans and get that out of the way? Uh, let's take our shot at Evans. Cares most about coach discipline. So we'll see how he responds to discipline. Though I don't tend to get a great deal of response because my discipline's moderate. He declined the host, so maybe we move down the list. Latimer, Mr. I don't like anything. Might as well. we'll get him out of the way if he doesn't like us. He declined. How about Anderson? Oof. White. Oh man, I'm just gonna save that last one because this is not going well. Uh, on to scheduling. No, wait, not on to scheduling. Back, back it up. Uh, watch film on the guys at the bottom of the list. That should cover everyone for now so that I can still continue cutting it down some. Of course, I need to generate some buzz on the guys that I do have. All right, uh, now on to scheduling, and how are we looking? Let's see. Uh, here in Conference M this year, there's Emmitsburg, uh, Utah State, Georgia Southern, so I've caught back up to them. Uh, Stephen F. Austin, Wyoming, there's VMI with their promotion, Eastern Illinois, Eastern Kentucky Army, uh, the land. I served in the Army, so I've got a bit of affinity for West Point, and some of my friends went to West Point uh, from my hometown, as well as those I served with. And Appalachian State, there after their promotion, there's Williamsburg, Utah State, Georgia Southern, and here's that non-conference. So we get South Florida at home, Western Kentucky at home, Portland State we get on the road this year, Teaneck, South Carolina Upstate, Let's see what conferences these are. Conference O for South Florida. Conference G for Western Kentucky. But they've actually got quite a bit of prestige. Portland State is Conference S this year. Teaneck is Conference O. We just recently passed them up. South Carolina Upstate is way down in Conference Q. Uh, Washington State is Conference N. So we must have... Past the Cougars up, they must have gotten demoted as I got promoted for them to be below me. Uh, Dayton is Conference F, because I don't remember having Washington State in conference. They, I could be wrong. Uh, Tennessee Tech is, is that Conference I or L? I think that's I. Uh, let's see, Wisconsin Green Bay is Conference J. Those are going to be tough. That's 
four road games in a row. And Miami is confident, oh, with pretty good prestige. That's going to be a challenge, too. And South Carolina is conference F. So uh, the first half of the non-conference schedule, I'm going to get slaughtered. I could start the season 0-6. 2-4 might be (laughs) a good result. Uh, And then I should do a little better later on. Uh, But yeah, that's that's gonna be rough. You have new mail. You have new mail. All right, Brian Wormley has given a verbal the number twenty-three ranked player in the country. Brian Wormley jumps from not even on his top ten to number eight to he signed. That's how good I am at recruiting. Welcome to the team all right let's take a look at the others uh matthew mcdonald did not like us fitz did uh wormley of course was impressed uh so mcdonald is out fitz looks like he might be in and how did evans and evans is out so evans and mcdonald are out Go ahead and remove them, Evans and McDonald. Wormley signed, and McDonald is out. And let's take a look. Uh, let's see, Latimer's out. Fitz, we jumped to number three. Number three. I like our chances of signing Fitz. Here really soon. I'm not going to get through another week though as I'm out of time, but we'll finish our quick review here. But I would expect by the beginning of the next episode, at the beginning of the season, coming up in a few weeks, that Greg Fitz might have signed for us. Um, but let's take a quick... Yes, it is another contact week here. So, uh, so we might have Fitz signed, uh, which will mean really we're down to just power forward uh louis would be that top candidate right now eisenhower or reeves uh i definitely need to focus uh or we could be all the way down at kamuna uh, but i definitely need a power forward so if fitz does sign uh it is all power forward from that point on so like in anderson those guys are all going to be out uh At the worst, I'm looking at maybe, yeah, like Noble. That's a large, small forward. Uh, But shooty guards are going to be out with Wormley signed. And Wormley has 2.8 GPA. He'll easily have an SAT score high enough. Uh, And I really don't worry about any of the players left. So I'll probably be eliminating my shooting guards uh, from the list. And hopefully get Fitz signed maybe even this week. And then uh, I'll be focusing on power forward from there. Let's briefly look at who else uh, fits was still available. Yes, okay. Uh, anybody else that's already signed? Kenyon Johnson to USC. And that's back to the top. Uh, so only a couple players have already signed. Uh, other than Wormley. And that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.